Well, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Very good to see you all here for the official final press conference for what will be a big time major league bout uh, of action here in the O2 Arena, as you can all see the arena out here. And we appreciate you coming. Sometimes it's tough to get to this area with traffic and all that, but you've all turned out. Now, coming up next Saturday will be a World Heavyweight Championship contest. And what's the best way to get the juices flowing, to get the fans interested in what's going to happen on March 31st in Cardiff? Well, promoter Eddie Hearn from Matchroom Boxing, Sky Sport Boxing, and HBO came in on this too, and they decided to throw a big time fight party the Saturday before. And here to tell you all about it, because it's a great night tomorrow, Saturday night, from top to bottom, here to tell you all about it, to start things off, Mr. Eddie Hearn from Matchroom Boxing. Thank you, Michael. It's uh, fantastic to have you here. We always know we got a big night when you're in town. Uh, welcome everybody. It's a big night on Saturday. Start of a big two weeks for British boxing, but this is all about Saturday night at the O2. As Michael said, a huge card from top to bottom and a very, very important heavyweight clash as well between Dillian White and Lucas Brown for the WBC Silver Heavyweight Championship. Of course, we'll be live and exclusive as always on Sky Sports and also live on HBO Boxing across America and many other countries around the world. And thank you to our uh, TV partners for their continued support. Like I said, a massive heavyweight clash between two giants, Dillian White, number one with the WBC, top five with virtually all governing bodies. Lucas Brown, former WBA world champion, undefeated, both looking to challenge for a world title in 2018. And what a stage, what a platform to do it on as well. I've got to say this card is one that I'm very, very proud of with two brilliant British title fights as well. Always difficult when you're representing both guys in the British title fights, but again, every competitor in the two British title fights is 100% dedicated and motivated and focused to win these fights, and they're so important for their career. The first one, our chief support bout, is the British and Commonwealth Light Heavyweight Championship between Frank Buglioni and Callum Johnson. Frank Buglioni is bidding to become the first man to win the Lonsdale belt outright, defeating undefeated fighters all throughout that procedure. And what a fight he has against the Commonwealth champion, Callum Johnson. He's been a little bit inactive, but he's here fresh and hungry, dangerous as well. And this is a great fight between two popular, young, talented, uh, light heavyweights that's going to really light up the O2. The British lightweight title is on the line. Lewis Ritson will be with us shortly. He's on a train down from Newcastle. Um, he's looking to make a quick defence and try and move in his position to win the Lonsdale belt outright. The toughest fight of his career by a mile so far against Scotty Cardle, former British lightweight holder who is desperate to regain that belt on Saturday night. I think he's a brilliant 50-50 fight and one that I think is again going to light up the O2 on Saturday night. Derek Chisora is on the card. Uh, Jamie Cox who just challenged George Groves for the WBA Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Anthony Fowler from the Rio Olympics. Chris Congo. Richard Riakapori. Uh, Louis Lin will make his debut as well on the card. Craig Richards returns to action absolutely stacked from top to bottom. We're going to be hearing from all the fighters up here on the table shortly. Firstly, I'll pass over to our exclusive UK TV partner, Sky Sports and Head of Boxing, Adam Smith, to say a few words. Thanks, Eddie. What an exciting time for, for British boxing. It really is. Um, some a lot cleverer than me in the office called it the March of the Heavyweights. And, of course, we saw the terrific fight in Brooklyn with Deontay Wilder and Luis Ortiz. Now we've got this wonderful matchup with Dillian White and Lucas Brown, and next week we're all at the Principality for the big one with AJ and Parker. It's a fantastic time, not just for the heavyweights, but also for the whole of British boxing uh, who want to be involved in these big fights. And I think what's great about this card is that the you look at the top three fights and you really can't pick winners. It, it's a terrific one. I was just looking at the records. I think there's only four defeats between all six fighters. Uh, is, I, I don't know which one I'm looking forward to most. Lewis Ritson and, and Scott Cardle, who we followed for throughout his entire career. Frank Bullioni, 
Uh, we know all about him, so much experience, so much fitness, a terrific fighter. And Callum Johnson, who, you know, we expect big things from. It, it, it's really good. And, and then the main event, obviously, White against Brown. And great to see Ricky here uh, alongside me. We had so many wonderful nights on Sky with, with Ricky. And, and it's, it's happening again. It's a halcyon period for boxing. We were uh, fortunate to win an award on Tuesday night. And, uh, and everybody there was talking about the, the renaissance of boxing. And I think we are really, really going through the highest period I can remember in a long, long time. So let's enjoy this Saturday. It's a great hors d'oeuvre for what will happen in, uh, in Wales. We're on Facebook Live, I think, from half past five, seven o'clock. We've got Derek Chisora, Anthony Fowler. On we go live on Sky Sports. It's a great one the week before the big one. So enjoy it. And uh, let's hope it's as good as it uh, looks on paper. Thank you, Evan. Um, here from a couple of young lions parading around the O2 on Saturday night. First, Chris, um, big stage for you and really approaching now the championship status in 2018 that, that you're craving. Yeah, um, definitely. Just want to give a big shout out to you, Eddie, and obviously Dylan White for getting me on the card. Um, I've had two big cards so far. Uh, I had the, the one in Olympia with uh, Chris Eubank, a boxer, and he's undercard, and I had the one at Wembley. So this is a different scene. Uh, I've never boxed in the old two. It gives me a chance to get my experience under uh, under my belt and obviously try to get my rounds in. If the KO comes, it comes. If it don't, my aim is always to win round by round. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you're going to see some explosive uh, work from me come Saturday night. You have a dangerous fight on Saturday. Yeah. Sergio Mbomba. Yeah. who we know had as a big wins in his career, most recently against Tamuka Mucha, who he's looking to challenge for the British title. So this is, I think, the toughest fight of your career so far. Uh, definitely, definitely. We all know Serge, he's going to come to win. But um, you know my motto already. Um, I already do my thing in the ring. I don't like to, I don't really speak. I, mean, I just go in there, do what I have to do. But as long as I get the win, which is the main thing. Richard, welcome. I've heard a lot about you. Looking forward to watching you in action on Saturday. Dylan White put you forward for this card. You spent many rounds sparring with him in camp for this fight as well. And the cruiserweight division red hot right now, domestically and internationally. Yeah, thank you very much, um, Eddie. And a big thank you to um, Dylan White for getting me on the card. You know, I've just been in the gym, just waiting patiently for my opportunity. And, you know, here it is. I visualised this and, and now we're here. So I'm just waiting to go out there putting a brilliant performance. Um, for those who don't know me, I've, I've had five now, and um, four come by the way of knockout, my last four. Um, known for, to be a powerful puncher, and um, I don't look for it, all I do is just go out there and box, and, and it just comes. So that's what we just got to go and do, and um, hopefully give everybody a good performance. Um, yeah, and this, this is a brilliant card anyway, there's um, so many um, amazing fights on the card. So I just want to get my job done, and sit down and enjoy the boxing just like the fans. Before seeing you in action on Saturday night. Scotty, a big fight for you, and I think you've really got a bit between your teeth for this fight. I think everyone's talking about this as a potential show stealer on Saturday and excited ahead of Saturday night. Yeah, I'm feeling great. Um, I've just been quietly working in the gym since um, late December, early January, so uh, I think it's all worked out perfectly. I think the date's ideal. I'm feeling great and uh, I'm going into this fight a major underdog, so I'm, I'm quite happy with that as well. So I'm, uh, I, yeah, like you said, I've got a bit between my teeth and I'm ready to go. There was a lot of talk yesterday. I was talking to Rob McCracken yesterday about the odds for this fight. He couldn't believe it, um, having grown up with you on the GB squad as well. Obviously, Lewis Ritson looked great against Robbie Barrett. Joe Murray was a great performance. How well prepared Joe was, we don't know. But this is a completely different fight for Lewis Ritson on Saturday night. Yeah, without a doubt, I think if you look back on both of our last couple of performances, I think that's what the odds are going off because I haven't really, I haven't, I haven't shown like a, the, the way I can really. So I think Saturday night's the night, and uh, obviously coming back to Auto Arena where I won the, the British title uh, in 2015, I think that's a good omen in itself, and uh, I think that's that's. That's what it's all gonna it's all gonna be down to at the end of the day. I'm gonna use my experience. I'm just gonna be clever in that ring and uh, and get that belt back. Finally on that, you boxed here before, you boxed at all the major stadiums across the UK as well. He hasn't, this is his first real time 
under the, the spotlight of his new status as British champion. How important do you think your experience is of boxing on these major shows going to be on Saturday? I think it's a massive thing. I think I think Lewis is clever enough to not get uh, not get over over the top at all. I think he'll soak it in as well. So I, I I'm not expecting any any difference from Lewis Whitson uh, on the night. But I think with the experience that I've got uh, from all these big shows and being in the arenas and things like that, I think it, I think it holds me in good stead. And um, obviously I'm I'm going to soak it in like the way I always do. And, uh, I'm looking forward to the night, you know, I just can't wait to get back in that ring. Good luck to you. Great fight, British Lightweight Championship. Lewis Ritson should be here shortly for one-on-ones as well. A British and Commonwealth Light Heavyweight Championship fights. Callum Johnson, um, a fight that was supposed to take place on the anti-Joshua card in October last year. Been a frustrating period for you. We've seen the evidence on social media in great shape and people again talking about this as just a brilliant fight. Yeah, it has been a frustrating time for me uh, over the last year, you know, a few injuries and that, but, you know, I've been in the gym, I've been working hard, you know, I'm ready to go Saturday night and I'm looking forward to it. Obviously everyone knows Frank Fabiano, you've been in some great fights, you like to go in, entertain, you know you can punch very, very hard. How do you see the fight playing out on Saturday? I think it'll be a great fight, you know, Frank comes to fight, I come to fight, you know, and, uh, I just feel I've got the tools to do the job on the night and you know we'll find out on Saturday but you know I'm looking forward to it and Frank I know how good Frank is and how strong he is and how tough he is, you know, but I'm ready. Do you think this fight goes twelve rounds? Um I don't think it does, no. Um, but I think it could do, but I think you know, uh, I think I will land a shot in between the uh, first and the twelfth and I do think I'll do him inside. Frank, we know you love a challenge, of course this is <coughs> for that Lonsdale belt outright which we know is very important to you as well. And you've been through, you know, some experiences here. Great fight with you know, Jose Burton, one of the fights of the year on the, the White Chisora card and Joshua Molina card as well. Um, Craig Richards, which was a, a last minute replacement. Great fight here with Ricky Summers on July the 1st last year. The final piece of the jigsaw to win the belt outright on Saturday. Yeah, it's been a, um, a long, long time coming and uh, I've worked very hard for this opportunity. So um, I'm very excited about cementing my name down in history and um, taking another undefeated record. Which, um, I'm getting accustomed to, so it's, it's nice. Obviously, again, people talking about this fight, Callum Johnson, a dangerous puncher, big opportunity for him. How do you see the fight playing out on Saturday? I've been in with um, plenty of big punches, um, inspiring in fights, and um, I've never been dropped. Um, so if he does something slightly different or slightly better, then it's yet to be seen. But um, my, my chin's been tested and uh, it's, it's withheld, um, but can the same be for, for him? Do you believe you get him out there inside the distance? I do, yeah. Good. 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 I can't wait for that fight. Two great lads, two great fighters, British and Commonwealth, like heavyweight titles on the line. And now the, the big one, the main event, like I said, I think outside of the world heavyweight championship matchups, this is the biggest, best, and most important in the division right now. It's an absolute honour uh, to have Ricky Hatton up here from Hatton Promotions, obviously Lucas Brown's promoter. And thank you to Ricky and Leon Margulis and Philip Fondu for making this fight and this deal. It's very hard to make these kind of fights when both guys have so much to lose. And what it means is everybody fancies they can win. So from their side to our side, to Dillian White, to Lucas Brown, we all believe we're going to win this fight on Saturday. And Ricky feels the same way about Lucas. Ricky, welcome. And uh, a great arena like you've boxed in many times before. And I know you're buzzing for Saturday night as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what a great <coughs> card. To, um, that we've got here to, to watch just on the undercard and the main event and what a venue to um, to match it and um, the top of the bill I think is one of them where it's not really needed much selling to be honest with you I think the boys generally really don't uh, like each other so it's probably not needed more as much selling as most but it's a great heavyweight matchup the boys have already proven themselves as you know Dillian has been in so many great matches he's done one number one WBC and Obviously, Lucas was a former world heavyweight champion, so they've already made their own names, and rightly so. But I think it's when you talk, when Adam mentioned about all the great heavyweight fights that have been up recently, and it, I think it's what is at the end of it, you know, is at the end of the rainbow, so to speak, is what's up for grabs for the, for the two boys. So, <clears throat> well, as far as Lucas's preparation goes, you know, his, his, his sparring's been well in Australia, he's done wonderful sparring when he, he's come over here, granted. Um, He's not the same style as Dillian, but uh, he's, he's he got great experience sparring, sparring with Tyson Fury. You know, he sparred with Derek Chisora, 
Uh, he sparred with um, Nathan Gorman, uh, my young heavyweight, who was pretty nippy and very quick, you know, so he's, he's, you know, there's one thing when you go in there, you want to be able to look yourself in the mirror, you know, I've done the, me the most I can possibly do, there's nothing I can do more, you know, in order to prepare myself the best I can do for this fight, and I think that's what Lucas has, has, has done, and I'm sure Dillian's done the same. If you want my personal opinion, I think it's a 50-50 fight. I think it's, you know, <clears throat> I think it's anyone's fight. It's a great style of matches. You know, Lucas is a murderous puncher. You know, Dylan's been active a lot recently where Lucas hasn't been that inactive. But um, Lucas has made up for it with the training camp that he's had, you know. So, um, so we're looking confident that hopefully Lucas can do it on the night. But it's a 50-50 fight. And I think it's, uh, it can't fail to be a, a good one. People talk about that power of Lucas Brand. Do you think that could be the difference in this one? It could be the difference, but like we spoke on it with Rodney, his trainer, and that is one thing. Having you know, the first thing you're told when you you walk through the boxing gym is don't look for the big punch because you never get it in. You know what I mean? And the punches that do get you, are the punches you don't see. So that's what Lucas and Rodney have been working on in the training camp, and I think that's what they're going to need. You know, it's not simply a case of landing one punch. You know, you, there's certain things you've got to do in order to get that punch in. So I think. Uh, the boys have been working on it in the gym, and um, you know, hopefully he, he can get it in. But there's certain things he's got to do in order to get it in, and that's what he's been working on in the training camp. Yeah. Thanks, Ricky. Rodney, let's bring you in. Uh, we know you've worked very hard in his training camp. You've been over in the UK with plenty of time to spare. Couldn't have prepared any better for this fight, and a huge opportunity for Lucas Brown on Saturday night. Yeah, first and foremost, I'd just like to say thank you to you, Eddie, for giving us this opportunity, and thank you to you, British Media, for turning up. Um, yeah, our preparation's gone well. Um, it's been, been a bit of an up and down as far as uh, with jet lag and so forth, but we're over those little hurdles. We're there and we're ready to rock and roll on Saturday night. How do you see the flight, the fight going out? Obviously, I'm not going to give tactics away, but how do you see this playing out on Saturday? People are talking about Dillian White's boxing ability, Lucas Brown's strength and punch power. How, what do you think will be the difference on Saturday? Um, just from having a look at Dillian and how he's coming, he's coming lighter than he ever has, I guess. He, he looks a bit more fitter, and for me, I think he's going to come out and box rather than try and look for the big punch. Um, he's, he's, he's basically trying to play that role where he's um, going to move and box, but I think he's going to get caught. He'll get caught. And again, the power of Lucas Brown, you feel it every day on the pads. We <laughs> saw it at the workout as well. Enough um, to do the, the business on Saturday. Yeah, 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 but like I said, and, and, and true, true, true to what Ricky said, that it's not about having a power punch, it's about how you set that power punch up, and we've been working on that, whether it's to be set up with the feet or set up with the hands, we work on things. Thanks, Rodney. Mark, it's been a, a good camp for you guys, obviously the first time in a while you've had an opponent, what, 10, 11 weeks out to yeah. focus on, and a big fight for the career of Dillian on Saturday night. It's, a, it's a, the biggest fight you know, of, of his career because of what, what could have been in front of him after this but um, for me since I've been with Dillian he's, um, this is the, the best shape ever and there's, there's more to come there's more to come see experience wise and that he's, 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 level, he's getting more level headed if you know what I mean he can't, he can't switch off can't switch off with his geezer but he's, um, he's going to look good I can promise you he's going to look good and we're going to be victorious. <coughs> People, I think, sometimes don't realise how much work Dillian White puts in mm. behind the scenes and in training camp. Uh, really make sure that his preparation is, is first class yeah. for all fights now. And again, like I say, looks in great shape ahead of this fight. Well, no, he's, 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 a, he's an incredible... You know, his work ethic is incredible. And you have to beg him to, to take the day off. And uh, But he's... <laughs> Probably the best fight I've worked with, with uh, work ethic wise, if you know what I mean. And heart and determination, his skill set is, uh, is second to none. None of you have seen it yet, you know, but hopefully you'll see it Saturday night. Well, not hopefully, you will see it Saturday night, and it's going to be, a, it's gonna be a, um, a real showstopper, for sure. Lucas, welcome. Um, been following both of you guys on social media and I think you've put in just the same amount of work as Dillian White in this fight, a massive fight for your career. I know you're very excited to be here, to box at the O2, and looking forward to setting up. Again, same as uh, Rodney said, thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, we've worked together a few times now, and I've, we've always been very well looked after, so thank you. Um, I think mo most 
yeah, everything's been said between myself and um, Dillian. I think, as people have said as well, we don't, we generally just don't like each other. Um, so it's going to be an interesting fight, no matter how you look at it. So um, you can't really give away, you know, what's going to happen because you never know. Uh, one punch changes everything, sort of thing. Um, I might do something different. He might do something different. So you can you can never really tell what's going to happen. But um, I guarantee it's going to be a great fight. Said earlier on that it's unusual to get two fighters in this kind of position to fight each other. Um, with so much at stake, do you feel that both your careers are on the line on Saturday in terms of challenging for the world heavyweight title? I think so, yes. Um, unfortunately, I think it's, it's a bit more for him because uh, he does hold the belt, obviously. I'm, I'm chasing that belt, so I think the press is a little bit more on him um, being his hometown and that as well. Uh, but I think we're both in the, that's a very similar position in regards to moving forward, yeah. I know you don't rely on the power and your boxing skill is underrated as well, but do you think you take Dillian White out inside of this on Saturday night? I believe so, yes. Um, it's just a matter of time. Um, again, see what he comes out with and see how I handle that and vice versa. Um, but I, I believe it, it gets stopped before the 12 rounds in. Dillian, a couple of days away now. All business for you. And uh, build up nearly done. Weigh in tomorrow, obviously. And ready to go here. Your stomping ground, really, at the O2. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. Thanks everyone for coming out and stuff and showing all the support you guys done over the past few weeks. But yeah, I'm good. Training's been good. Um, we cover every single angle. And um, you know, I'm just glad that Brown's turned up. He's in shape. There's no issues. You know what I mean? He's happy. He's healthy. He looks quite trim as well and stuff. So yeah, I mean, I'm not just saying really, is it? There is. I'm going to ask you a few more questions. <laughs> the, first, the first one is... is uh, People are talking about fights down the line. Obviously, the division's mm -hmm. buzzing at the moment and the potential fights out there. How important is it for you to get through this fight? Do you feel the pressure because of what's on the horizon through victory in this fight? You know what? Um, every single fight in my career has been as important as this one because, as you guys know, I never had the promotion, the long amateur career. So I've been swimming against the wave my whole career. And I know every fight I have, if I lose them, I go 10, 10 step back and I have to come back again, I have to come back again. So that pressure is always there to always make sure I go out, look good, train, win. And the main important is to pick up the W. So it's just, it's, it's another, it's just another fight against. It's an important one, but it, I just see it as just another fight. I got a strong guy in front of me, undefeated, you know, credible opponent. You know, no, after this fight, no one can say, oh, I didn't watch this, didn't watch that, I just didn't watch the man. And finally, the team talked about they believe you're going to box in this fight. We know you can do both. Um, we've seen it here at the arena before. Obviously, not going to give you game game player one playing away. But how, how do you going to approach this fight? Do you look to outbox him over the distance or, or take him out? See, this is boxing. People say this, they say that. You know, they say, "Oh, you're going to box. You're going to come to fight. You're going to do this." And then when they get there, and it's a different story. Then people change. So I don't listen to what people say. This is what my coach says. This is what my team says. And it's going to crack on. If he wants to box, we'll box. If he wants to fight, we'll fight. You know, I might have to box fight him. So we'll see. He said it all depends on me. Whether I cope with his power, this and the other. So we'll see. It. It's his fight to lose it. That's fine to him. So we'll see. And finally, live on Sky Sports on Saturday night. Headlining at the main event. Yeah. And 9,000 in. Live on HBO across America as well. It's a big night for Dillian White. You talk about, you know, you swam against the waves early on in your career. But, you know, I know you've had some big nights. But this feels like... A big coming out night for Dillian White. Yeah, it's a big night, you know, the night's um, based around me, you know, and I'm, I'm, gra I'm grateful and thankful to Sky Sports match and my team for getting out together. It's been a long, hard road to get here, and it's my time, I believe it's, it's like, everything in my career in my life led to this moment, so really it's my time to shine now, you know, obviously, Luke Brown believes differently and whatever, but that's why we're going to get in the ring Saturday and, um, and prove each other wrong. Can't wait for that, it's a cracking main event. The WBC Silver Heavyweight Championship of the World. Two brilliant British title fights. Frank Buglioni against Callum Johnson. Scotty Cardo against Lewis Ritson. Derek Chisora as well kicking off the live broadcast. Anthony Fowler, Jamie Cox, uh, Richard Rekapori, Louis Lim making his debut. Chris Congo, Craig Richards. A stacked night of boxing. Doors will open from 5pm and boxing starts just after that tomorrow. The, the weigh-in will be at 1 o'clock. Um, at the Courthouse Hotel in Shoreditch. Everyone's welcome to come down there. We're going to have head-to-heads now um, with our uh, championship fights up here. And the guy's going to be available for one-on-ones. Thank you for coming. Don't miss the action on Sky Sports and HBO on Saturday night. Thank you very much.
Um, I will. Yeah, why not? Have you got me, Adrian? Yeah. Just confirm that you've got my camera. Yeah. Sorry, no, I didn't need you. Uh, thank you. So you need to sit on it. I'll pick up a, what I'll do is I'll pick up one closer. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. One fist up, guys. The other fist front, please. That's it. Go to the front, Calvin, please. <laughs> and then just each other, please. Thanks, guys. Straight to each other first, please. Straight here, guys, please. Straight in this one, please, guys. <laughs> one fist up please guys, that's it. Straight down this one please. And now straight each other please guys. Straight each other please. Thank you guys. Thanks guys.